Leviticus 19.17a Lo tisna et ahicha bil vavecha. Ho cheach to hiach et amitecha. The Lord has been giving moral instructions because Israel needs to be holy so that they're ever ready to come into the courts of the Lord. You shall not hate your fellow, that is your brother or your neighbor, in your heart. Um, surely rebuke, you shall rebuke your fellow. Lo tisna. This comes from seen, noon, aleph, to hate. This is a call imperfect to ms. You shall not hate. Now we'll take this together. Now often when we have two of the same roots next to each other, the first one is considered an infinitive absolute, and that's what we have in this case. But let's first talk about what the root letters are. Um, well, we can see the hay on the front here, so that tells us this is a hifiel, and we know in the hifiel that a peyod, uh, let me try that one again, yod, often becomes a vav. And that's what happens in this case. So the root here is yod, kaf, chet, which is to rebuke. We have the same thing here. Um, the yod has become a vav, and then we have the hierarch yod in the middle. This shows us we have a hifiel, imperfect, to ms. You shall surely uh, rebuke. I'll have to pick up next time the sense of this, you will surely rebuke your neighbor or your fellow. Um, but for now, it's enough to just notice in the A line uh, what we have going on. This is not a legal standard that is enforceable in a court of law. So this is calling for something before God. You shall not hate your fellow in your heart. So some of these laws are enforceable in court, others only by one standing before the Lord.